poultry production, for grade 7 and 8. Our topic is perform preventive maintenance of tools and equipment, for week 2. Using farm tools and equipment. The most essential learning competency is to perform preventive maintenance of tools and equipment. In this lesson, the learners demonstrate an understanding of the underlying theories in using farm tools and equipment for poultry production. Safety practice during operation of farm tools. Farmers are the living heroes in our society. They provide us with foods through domesticated animals. It is not easy to become a farmer. You need to wake up early in the morning and go home late in the afternoon. You also need to work during sunny and rainy days. With this working conditions majority of the Filipino farmers are still experiencing poor living conditions. Agriculture students should not be discouraged because this is their opportunity to professionalize farming in our country. There are a lot of opportunities for farmers here and abroad. In other countries, Filipino farmers are earning higher than the ordinary employees received in the Philippines. Farming activities are exposed to a lot of hazards, before you try to perform some activities on the farm. Determine the areas of concern for safety. This lesson will help you to identify various work tasks in the farm, determine the places for application of safety measures, determine the appropriate time for employing safety measures and identifying appropriate tools and equipment in animal production. Power and handheld tools are indispensable for professionals and those who are engaged in farm operation activities. They are favored as they help users to save time and they also make the job easier. However, they need to be handled carefully otherwise they can lead to injury. Mishaps usually occur due to negligence, boredom, and overconfidence. By keeping the following 10 safety issues in mind, it is possible to work satisfactorily and safely with power tools. Day 1. Introduction. Learning task number 1. Directions. Write the word true if the statement performs preventive maintenance and the word false if it is not. Safety practices during operations of farm tools. Safety is the state of being, safe, from French word self, the condition of being protected against physical, social, spiritual, financial, political, emotional, occupational, psychological, educational or other types or consequences of failure, damage, error, accidents, harm or any other event which could be considered non-desirable. Safety can also be defined to be the control of recognized hazards to achieve an acceptable level of risk. This can take the form of being protected from the event or from exposure to something that causes health or economical losses. It can include protection of people or of possessions. Safety practices during operations of farm tools. First wear PPE like safety glasses. Safety glasses these prevent dust, debris, wood shavings, shards from fiberglass, etc. from getting into the eyes. Safety glasses are one of the most basic pieces of safety equipment that must be used when working with power tools. Ear protector. Ear protector is a protection for the ears. Power tools can generate a lot of noise, which may sound louder in the cloistered environment of a workshop. In order to minimize damage to the ears, it is advisable to wear earplugs. The right tool for the right job. Knowing the right tools for the job, it is important to know the right tools for the job in order to avoid injury to oneself and damage to the materials. To this end, it is advisable to thoroughly read the instruction manuals provided with the equipment and get familiar with the recommended safety precautions. Correct method of using tools. Tools should not be carried by their cords, tools that are not in use should be disconnected, and while handling a tool connected to a power source, fingers should be kept away from the on-off switch. The right clothes. The right clothes, long hair should be tied and loose clothing should be avoided. Ideally, clothing that covers the entire body should be worn and heavy gloves should be used in order to avoid sharp implements and splinters from hurting the hands. 
Masks prevent inhalation of harmful minute particles of the material that are being worked upon. Steel-toed work boots and hard hats can also be worn. Here are some examples of right clothes while working. It is also called PPEOR personal protective equipment. Tool inspection. Power tools should not be employed in wet environments and should never be dipped in water. They should be checked periodically for exposed wiring, damaged plugs, and loose plug pins. Nickel cords can be taped but if a cut appears to be deep, a cord should be replaced. Tools that are damaged or those that sound and feel different when used should be checked and repaired. Cleanliness in the work area. This should be maintained because accumulated dust particles in the air can ignite with a spark. Of course, flammable liquids should be kept covered and away from the place where power tools are being used. An uncluttered work area also makes it easy to maneuver the power tool. Often distractions caused by a tangled cord can result in an accident. Care with particular tools. Miter saws and table saws should be used with a quick release clamp and a wood push through, respectively. Extra care should be taken while using nail guns and power belt sanders. Keep tools in place. Power tools should be returned to their cabinets after use to prevent them from being used by an unauthorized and incapable person. Proper lighting. It is important to use proper lighting while working with power tools, particularly when working in the basement and garage where lighting may not be satisfactory. Maintenance. Maintenance is work that is done regularly to keep tools, equipment, and facilities in good condition and working order. We need to learn the different kinds of maintenance in order to identify the activities and proper procedures in the management of facilities as well as time, money and materials involved. The proper use of training tools, equipment, and facilities is the first and foremost task in maintenance. It used in accordance with the manufacturer's manual, as this would evidently extend the life of the tools, equipment, and facilities. The manual would indicate the part and the way to maintain it. We must always refer to it for reference. Types of maintenance. Number 1. Preventive maintenance, performed to prevent or find defects before they develop into a breakdown. Number 2. Corrective maintenance, tasks initiated as a result of the observed condition of an acid or system, before or after functional failure to correct a problem. It is performed to repair, restore, replace or correct a failure. Number 3. Emergency maintenance, performed to put the item on hand immediately to avoid serious consequences, such as loss of production, disrupted schedule, extensive damage to assets, idle worker or for safety reasons. This should be requested as soon as you become aware of a problem. Why do we need to conduct maintenance? Number 1. To extend the useful life of tools, equipment and facilities. Number 2. To assure the operational readiness of equipment and maximum possible return on investments. Number 3. To properly discard hazardous waste. Number 4. To ensure the safety of the user. What we can gain from maintaining our facilities. First, ensure a safe environment. Second, improved morale of human resources. Third, reduced operational cost. Fourth, increased production. Fifth, prolonged life of facilities. And lastly, prompt delivery of services, products. Factors to consider when maintaining farm tools and facilities. We have to consider our resources. The manpower, the money or financial resources, the methods and system, the machines and facilities and the materials and supplies.
Maintenance program. Maintenance program, includes all maintenance activities to be undertaken, manpower needed, maintenance methods to be used, all the materials, supplies needed and cost involved in the maintenance. Maintenance schedule. Maintenance schedule, list allocating specific maintenance of an area, including tools and equipment for a specified period, included in the maintenance program. Please write your text here. Tools maintenance and safety rules. Tools will last longer when properly kept and maintained. A good worker keeps and takes good care of his tools. Tips to keep tools in good condition. Number 1. Be sure to inspect tools before using them to check if they are in good working condition. This can be detected when they are used smoothly with ease and speed. The sharpness of bladed tools and tips of pointed ones should always be maintained, while non-bladed or non-pointed tools should always be kept clean to prevent them from rusting. Number 2. After using a tool, clean it thoroughly with a damp cloth before keeping it in the tool cabinet. To keep the tool from rusting, make sure that the tool is dry before storing it. Number 3. Oil the metal parts of a tool to prevent any form of damage that may be caused by air, water, or rust. Safety rules to strictly follow to avoid accidents. Number 1. Avoid wearing loose clothing when working. Sleeves should be fitting and shirts tucked in as much as possible. Remove ties and jewelry. Number 2. Injuries or accidents that occur should be reported immediately to the teacher. Number 3. Never use your lips to fold small materials like fasteners or any small metal articles when working. Number 4. Never throw tools of any type around. Make sure the sharp edge of cutting tools is away from the edge of the work table or workbench. Number 5. Keep working areas clean and free from shavings of any kind. Number 6. Ensure the safety of your classmates when carrying long and heavy tools to avoid accidents. Number 7. Never use dull or damaged tools. Number 8. Keep fingers away from the edge of sharp cutting tools. Number 9. Know and observe safety measures specific of each tool or operation. Number 10. Convenience outlets and power tools used should be checked before and after each use. Switch off the power before leaving the shop. Number 11. Keep tools in their proper places. Always practice the 5S number 1 the sort or take out and disposing of unnecessary items. Number 2. The systematize. Arrange tools, equipment, and materials in order for easiest and most efficient access. Number 3. The sweep. Cleaning even if things are not dirty. Number 4. The standardize. Maintain the workplace in high standard of housekeeping. Number 5. The self-discipline. Doing things spontaneously without being told. Day 2. Development. Learning task number 2. Direction. Write the word true if the statement performs preventive maintenance and the word false if it is not. Day 3. Engagement. Learning task number 3. Day 4. Assimilation. Learning task number 4. Day 5. Assessment. Learning task number 5. Reflections. Write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.